Hey guys, so today I am doing what I feel like I'm a little, um, I'm a lot, I feel like probably a good two months late on this tag, the ride or die tag. I started getting requests to do this. It's a big tag that's going around. It's a very popular video. I'm sure everyone on YouTube has done it by now. Uh, but the more I thought about it, first when someone suggested that I do it, I thought that sounds cool. And then I got like more and more requests to do it. And I kind of thought about it and thought, you know, I've kind of talked these products into the ground. And it's like, you know, I do favorites every month. And over the years, if you've been watching, for especially if you've been watching since the beginning, like from like eight years ago, you guys, I feel like I've talked about these so much that it doesn't really make sense sometimes to just, just like bring them up in a video like, hey, and by the way, check out this Laguna Bronzer, you know, because you've, you've like heard it a million times. So at first I thought, you know, it's redundant, but then because of all that, also I got the appeal of it because I'm like, how cool to have it all in one place. So I went and I, um, I googled all of the, I googled the, you know, like the specifics and saw it's Jaclyn Hill's tag, which is cool. And so I went to her actual, uh, like when it gave results, I actually went to hers to see um, what, her, what, you know, just, you know, in case of someone like changed. And Anna was looking too. There's a few, unless if she talked about different things in her video, because I got these from her website. Maybe she talks about different ones in the video, but there's a few, um, a few that I'm going to add to, which I think is kind of fun. So, like, so from every makeup category, products that are like my ride or die, if I had to get rid of everything, um, this would be it. So you're going to see a lot of old favorites. And a lot of things that may surprise you. Okay, so primer would definitely be this. It's the Makeup Forever Step 1 in this, um, what's it? The Cool Pink. Oh my gosh, you guys. This Cool Pink primer is the best. It's live. I, I, but, I, but honestly, I don't use it much lately because I've just been using like a BB cream. And a lot of times I don't want to layer up a bunch of different things. But this is definitely my favorite. If MAC still made that dang... Prep and Prime SPF 50, was it 50 or 55 primer? I don't know if you guys are like really OG, like from way back. I lived for that stuff and honestly it was the best primer. I don't know what about the version with the SPF 50 in it, which is ridiculous, made it so much better. It kind of smelled like, remember it kind of had this weird like plasticky like eraser-ish smell, but it was good. And for foundation, this is a BB cream, but I'm on my fourth one. Wait, this is my third. I just purchased my fourth. I'm almost done with my third. It's the Arborium BB Cream. It's just so good. I use the shade Claire and it's literally, it's like your skincare. It's your, I don't use a primer. I don't use, and it's just everything. And it's like a true foundation. It actually covers because I have stuff to cover and it actually works really, really well. So concealer. For me, I feel like I have to list two and kind of appreciate that this is a very hard thing for me to do because anytime I ever have like a top five or a top this or a top that, I'm like, well, let me just do 11. You know, so picking like just one thing in each section is hard, but the concealer one, I can justify picking two because for me, like under eye concealer and face concealer is two totally different things. Um, so I can't just pick one. So for my under eye, the Prep and Prime, it's the Radiant Rose Highlighter. It's just so perfect. It doesn't crease. It's great. Um, yeah, I was gonna say or something else, but no, I'm gonna be good. This uh, All May Clear Complexion Concealer is good for like blemishes on your face. I wouldn't use this one on my face because it's like pink, you know. And to if you have redness or a blemish or something, this one's really good. And it's really cheap and just thin and um, very lightweight. Face powder, I I don't set my makeup with powder anymore like I used to. Um, I use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I just keep it in my purse and just kind of, you know, if I need to touch up or anything. Um, but like a really like, face powder. See, I just did it. I snuck into on ya. This would definitely be it. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I use the light shade. And again, this is one of those like old school products for me that I've used for a very, very long time. The finish is just kind of very glowy and pretty and um, like you can dust it on all over your face and you won't look powdery you know what I mean like you won't you can dust it on lightly and you won't feel so powdery I get I don't know it doesn't look really matte and crazy um, I used to use it with a kabuki brush just and just go for it like a foundation I mean it's just light you know like but it, it's nice it's not super heavy um, under eye setting powder I don't do that. I, I don't put any powder in my eyes anymore. But when I did, um, where are you? It's been so long since I've used you. Oh, it's way back in the back. I was like, I know I just saw you. Did I sit you out? The um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. It's a loose powder. 
that's in the shade one. Um, but you guys have seen me talk about this for years too. And when I first started using this, I remember when I first like kind of did that, people were like, that's not what you use that for. You're not using it right. Like you don't put that there. That's all I'm gonna say about that. When I use this, okay, yes, I'm throwing in another product. I don't do it to set my concealer. I do it to kind of blur that line and to make it bright right here. And so I guess, it's not an under eye setting powder. I don't know what I would really, you know, go so kind of it. But the, the ethereal light, the ambient lighting powder, by Hourglass, I've used this for a while too. And um, this new Sigma brush, this baby Kabuki brush, is just so good to just be like, eh, isn't that good? I'm not doing that to set my concealer, I'm just doing it to brush. Um, blush is a no-brainer for me, NARS Orgasm. I could get rid of everything I have and just love NARS Orgasm. It's so good, that's what I'm wearing today. Bronzer, I'm gonna also go for something that I haven't been using a lot lately. Um, I am wearing it today though, I really, I'm, I, I love it. I just think you can't beat this. I hate this packaging on this one though. But I can't justify buying another one again right this second, but it's the, um, it's the, NARS Laguna bronzer. It's just so perfect. The finish is great. It's not matte. It's not frost. It's just the perfect Looks so good. Um, but yeah, I, I like the one that's like this is that translucent setting. It's usually like about like that It's just very sleek and thin highlighter also what I'm wearing today not a big surprise the Laura Mercier uh, matte radiance horrible name because it's not matte at all um, baked powder and highlight all one It's so good. This is just such a great one um, and if you're trying to like kind of ease into highlighter or some of these things scare you like when you when you don't want to look so great This is so good it's just, oh, it's the best. Mascara I do not currently have one but it would definitely be the Chanel volume to Chanel um, I know I've raved about that Trish McAvoy volume and I would honestly say that one is Right up there, but since that's my first one like that and it's so different. That's like a tubing one I would say just like mascara the Chanel volume hands down the best gotta get some more of that Lipstick, um, ooh, what lipstick color do I like? So, I don't currently have a Viva Glam 5. I don't currently have it. Is it my favorite then? I don't know. I know, I was gonna say high tea, but that one is not. And I gotta say a matte color, honestly, because I, I just, I love their lipsticks. I really, really do like those. And honestly, I haven't really been wearing a lot of like lipstick lipstick lately. I've just been doing, like today I just did gloss and liner, or I use like the liquid lipstick. That's another category. Um, where is Angel? This one I love. Oh, no, this is not the one. What was the one called that I used to? Cream Cup. Do I have a Cream Cup? That's what I was thinking that was. Yes! Yes! I didn't think I had it. I got really excited. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Matte Cream Cup, especially with Whirl Lip Liner, is so good. And I used to wear this combo all the time. I need to bust this out again. But I love MAC lipsticks because they're not dry. They're not super creamy. Some formulas. Um, but Cream Cup, it was probably... It's for sure, hands down, my favorite. I didn't think I had it there for a second. It's been a long time since I wore that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit that little guy out. You're coming, you're coming with me for a while, buddy. Lip Liner is MAC Whirl, hands down. Didn't even have to think about this when I love... The color, it's not too pink, it's not too brown, it's not too natural. It just would literally go with anything. You can fill your lips in with it. It's really pretty. It's what I'm wearing today with the gloss. Um, it's just good, and the MAC formula is, is really nice. It's not too creamy, it's not too drying. Good stuff. Liquid lipstick. This one is very, very easy. Although I do have a lot of them that I love. The Kat Von D Love Sick is so, like, even the color, so good. This is the best. The Kat Von D ones honestly have the best formula. And I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that there are other ones that don't have good formulas too, but this one is just hands down the best. And the color too, so good. Getting the color right on those liquid lipsticks can be tricky because they're just, they're, yeah, love stick, so good. Um, gloss, although I don't like wearing these particular glosses over lipsticks, this is a true gloss that I just can wear by itself. Um, any of these buxom, lip glosses, and the one that I'm wearing is actually the one I'm wearing today in April. I just got it because I ran out of my Kimberly. Kimberly, I think, I've had Kimberly, I've had Celeste, this, and Amy. And I've gotta say, Kimberly's the best. It's a little paler pink. Um, this one's pretty too. 
I don't like putting these over lipsticks because I feel like it just kind of melts everything away and like even paired with my lip liner today make sure your lip liner look a little smeary but honestly like this is one of those you can just keep in your purse put it on it makes your lips look really good it gives you kind of that tingly effect without like having them hurt and um kind of fill like plumps up your lines without irritating your lips okay lashes i don't have any currently but they're the um they're the ardell glamour wispies not the regular like demi wispies because those are a bit shorter those are actually shorter than my regular lashes so those are nice but they just don't give the same effect the ones that are the Glamour Wispies are, are my favorite because they're the same shape as the Demi Wispies, but they're just longer. Now, I hate to say this because um, this is like my first day wearing these and I'm like, do I want to, do I want to be like that? But I got these at Ulta and they're the Ilore number 155 and <laughs> once I blind you, um, that's what I'm wearing today. They're so lightweight, they're so thin, they're so good. Putting these on, I think, felt better than any lashes I've ever put on. They're the perfect length for me. But I hate to say that, because I'm like, and these are my ride or die lashes, I just wore them the first time today, but those are really good, and you get like three in a pack, um, three sets. Those may be a new favorite, and they weren't, they weren't very expensive. Um, eyeshadow palette, uh, okay. The Vizart palette, I love this so much. It's so easy. If I ever have any other palette, I always have this one with me, like to maybe say, okay, well, if I need, you know, a warm blending color for my crease, or if I need a really light color to brighten something up, or a dark brown, or a dark, this always has it. And I can do some of the prettiest looks just with this. So I would say this hands, it's a little expensive, but worth it. Setting spray, and again, this is just no question, the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I love this one so much, and honestly, to me, um, honestly, the formula is good. Like, I can honestly tell that I've, whoa, when I, oh, when I close my eyes really hard, my eyelash, it's like my real eyelash did something funny against, it's like pulling. Okay, um, I can tell that I've used it. Like, I can tell that my, my makeup lasts better. Something really important to me, though, that this one just is the best out of any setting spray that I've tried, though, is the mist, like the type of sprayer, and like the quality of the mist itself. Like, it's very f a fine mist that just go goes all over. It's not like one that is gonna, you know, you're gonna see the drops on your face, or it's just, it's just so good. It's just like a poof, you know, which I think matters. Um, gosh, I tried a really nice brand not too long ago, a really fancy brand that was very expensive, and the sprayer was horrible. It was just one of those that just, like, it just was so wet, and it just sprayed in a small spot, and I thought, gosh, like, why, you know? My perfume, this is not going to be a huge shocker to you guys, but the Gucci 2, I've been talking about this for years, and it is, like, it's it's been my favorite since way before YouTube. Um, I wore this when Brad and I first started dating, and on our wedding. It's, it's his favorite scent that I wear. I know I've said that so many times, but I really, really love it. I haven't worn it too much lately, and when I smell it, it reminds me of fall. So I'm gonna start busting it out again. Um, all my scarves and my coats always smell like that. Um, so I, I do wear it more in the colder months, but uh, lately, like the past two years, I've been all about the Misty or Blooming Bouquet. I feel like I've kind of ran that one in the ground too, so I won't talk about that too much. Um, but the other items, a brow product, so, you know, I would have never thought that I would have said anything but the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but this is so good. It's the um, Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow, and I use shade 20, and it even has like a little highlighter made into it that, that will launch, apparently. Um, really cute, but I just, the pencil is so good. I love the shape of it. You can just like get that perfect shape, and it's nice. I just, I love the tone of it. It's just perfect. And then what else? I think that I was thinking there was one more thing. Like, I can't believe that wasn't on there. But um, but now I don't know. Now I don't know. So those are my ride or die products, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, as always, for spending this time with me today. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon.